welcome back to Lifeless Planet. I actually left this game running overnight and got my 10 hour achievement for playing the game for up to 10 hours. So we're going to continue on and see what's over here in the land of Electricity Town. Got some nice uh, Tesla coils over there popping, zipping, zapping. Uh, Tesla coils are actually really cool. They basically ask like a transformer and uh, they like super. Oh, fuck me. Idiot. They, uh, like, super energize, like, up the voltage, like, millions of volts to where the, the voltage is so high, it literally puts uh, energy through the air. And it's very low uh, amperage of that, of course, voltage, but it puts it, like I said, so high that it actually breaks down the barriers of air and actually can transmit electricity through the air. So, like, if you're in a room with a large like, uh, Tesla coil, you can hold a light bulb and it'll actually light up. Really badass. Uh, the technology was way ahead of its time. Tesla was a genius for who he was. And uh, just never did, um, wasn't, like I said, it was way ahead of his time. He actually, I think, went bankrupt actually trying to build. He wanted to transmit electricity through the air across the world and use the, the Earth as a conduit, which was amazing. And uh, not really, I guess, practical, especially, like I said, for the time period that he was in. So he ended up going kind of batshit crazy in a hotel in New York and uh, died there. But it was cool, though. Let's see what's going on here. Power right. appears to draw power from that green rock. Huh. I've come across what appears to be a power station of some sort. An array of Tesla coils, uh huh, surrounds a mysterious monolith, uh, monolithic structure. The entire apparatus seems to draw its power from a glowing green rock inside the monolith, which levitates and pulses with energy. So, again, um, the only point of using Tesla coils is to transmit electricity through the air, so why are they using this as a quote-unquote power station is beyond me, especially if you're still going to transmit it through wires. Doesn't make any fucking sense at all. But, you know, it is what it is. So. Pretty nifty, though. Cool-looking green rock and stuff. What's over this way? Can we do anything this way? Question mark? How do we... Oh, what is this? How do I do this? Oh, button. Got it. I push it to button. What is that... What's that doing? Oh, I see. It's a lift. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right. So I was talking with a friend earlier about this game, and uh, shout out to her, by the way. But anyway, this game is very, almost creepy in a way, just because it's just so open and and like you're alone, but you're also not alone. So it's just weird. But anyway, like I said, I, I'm sure they thought Tesla coils would be cool to put in this because Tesla coils are really interesting and really cool, but I don't see the point of using this setup because, like I said, unless you're trying to... I mean, it's basically a transformer. You're just going to up the voltage way high, but I mean, unless you're trying to, uh, you know, transmit electricity through the air, there's no real point in having a Tesla coil. Have you ever had one of those, like, plasma balls where, like, it's not the little glass globe and you can kind of touch it and, like, zap to your fingers and stuff? That's similar. Uh, it's not exactly the same, but it's it's something similar to that. If you've ever seen a uh, a performance done where the guy's wearing a Faraday cage, Faraday suit, and he's performing with a Tesla coil, it's really cool stuff, uh, for sure. I I recommend you looking that up on YouTube if you if you've never seen that. Really cool. But I'm just talking things about that I I like. And oh, there's okay. Cool, nifty. What's this little green rock thing here? Can I not? I can't do anything with this? No, it's my robotic arm. Right? No? Robotic arm doesn't. So, for some reason, uh, whenever I. I guess I fell off a cliff here or something like that, and it didn't actually save my progress. So it didn't have me as having the robotic arm. Which is bullshit because I definitely got it before and you guys saw it in the video, but somehow in the process of me um, doing all of this, I actually didn't have the arm anymore. So see you and have it now. And so I was correct in saying that I need the robotic arm to solve the puzzle to push a little core into the, the thing because I had to have the arm and for whatever reason I didn't have it anymore. Like I said, I think I fell off a cliff or something like that and it reverted me to the checkpoint before I had gotten it. Which is kind of bull. But I'm not going to fault the game for it, and so we're going to continue on, and I'll cut back to where I'm back at the power plant again.
after you stick that fucking core in it. So, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, so now we have the robotic arm, and this should be easy fucking peasy. Just lemon squeezy, walk up to this. And use my robotic arm. See how easy that was? Oh my god, it was so simple. Oh, good. How do I... There we go. Yay! I did it! I used my robotic arm. I powered up Lay Power Station. So let's continue on to the next one. Hit the lift button. Alright. Making progress. It's like, I knew what to do. Like, the game's not tricky. Like, it, I, I knew what to do. It gave me the tools to do so. It was, whatever reason, whenever I died or it didn't save correctly, or I, I thought before that it saved my progress whenever I had gone to the last checkpoint, but it did not. And so I had to go back and get that again. So that was, I guess, my bad, I guess, on that. Uh, maybe a little misunderstanding with the save system, but, you know, the game, it's like it was like a hard puzzle that I couldn't figure out. I just didn't fucking have the right tool for it. So, got it. Moving on up. Come on, baby. All right, look at all the holes. Hop. 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 All right. There's the unit four. Anything cool here? Yes, no, probably not. No secrets hiding behind this rock. Oh! There is. What are you fucking... I mean, I would have found it anyway, because you had to have this to get, to get past this next little part here, but... Get fucked, nerds! Yay! Yeah! Good job, me. Got those barrels right the fuck out of the way. What's this? It's a control panel. It's not hooked up to anything. Another power station here. Do I need to put the another core in? No, only one. Only once. That's all you wanted from me. Oh, cool. There's a uh, there's a lift here. This looks great. Good. This is fun. This is fine. Music? There's Question mark. Odd about that storm. Fuck. Oh no. Oh no. Why why would you do this to me? That storm is bad news, man. I I alright. The music and fuck. Shit's getting real now. Come on, baby. Let's Get a move on. Almost there. Alright, thank you. We gotta move. Baby, we gotta move. Going uphill. Gotta get inside before the storm hits, I think. Or else I'm probably gonna die. What the fuck is this? Oh, that's right. They're fucking they're talking about the panels that were, uh... How do I, uh... Got it! Good job, me! I did it! I just pushed it with my little arm until... Oh! Okay. That's what it showed up at the beginning. Oh, that was loading screen alright. What happened to the storm? It's all different now. Wasteland. We're in a whole new area. We're out of the chasm. Cool beans. There's more footprints again. Wherever the fuck these are going. Whoever the fuck left them here. Oh! No! What in the world? Hey, get away from him. My crew! What? What? No! Hey! 
Did she just disappear? The fuck was that? <laughs> Both my crewmates are now confirmed dead. It seems this planet is not lifeless after all. A deadly life form lingers below the surface of the planet. Woman seems to avoid their traps somehow. I'll try to use this to my advantage, following her tracks as best as possible. Well, fuck. Well, things are not going swell. Um, I'm not scared to touch anything, literally at all. Anything at all. I'm scared. I assume all these things want to try to kill me. I, I, I don't know that for sure, but I assume so. That's, that's what the message just meant, that all these things try and are wanting to pull me under and, and secure me, perhaps. They're, they're... Oh, they're... Oh! Yep. Yep, that's... This planet's not very kind. Not very nice at all. All the little things are twitching and trying to kill me. Let me just follow this green fire then. Maybe I won't die. Again. I fucking missed the jump that time is what happened, but fuck me. Things are getting weird now. It's almost less scary now that I know what it is, but still, like, for fuck's sake, you know? Okay. Got music again, which is either good or bad. I'm assuming it's good. Uh, located a vast field of columnar... Column... Columnar... Col columnar basalt. It's, it's basalt in columns. These natural formations appear similar to those on Earth, but at a far grander scale than any terrestrial occurrences I'm aware of. I have to assume they formed in a similar fashion to basalt columns on my home planet. The, uh, via the slow cooling of huge lava flows, as the hot substance cools into a new rock, it, con it contracts, sending deep cracks into the surface in geometric patterns. Once these cracks go deep enough, they result in towering columns of rock. Well, that's pretty fucking nifty. This actually, wow, this does look pretty fucking cool. It's also a fucking platformer hell, so that's fun. Ow. See if I can manage to not die. Fucking plant things. Her feet seem to cause a biological reaction with the soil. The tracks are my guide, a delicate female footprint offering my, me subtle comfort as I press on into the unknown. Strangely, it's not always effective. I seem to lose the tracks in rocky areas, of which there are plenty. In the right light, though, I can see where they pick up again to continue my journey. An analysis of the soil at the point of contact suggests, fuck you, that there is a something organic reacting to the person or the thing, whatever she is, making the tracks. The faded glow is haunting, unsettling marks on the earth that make me recall nuclear propaganda films. I'm trying not to worry about the idea that with every step my body is being irradiated beyond repair. So do the Russians fucking irradiate the whole, uh planet, perhaps, perchance? That would be rather unfortunate. Okay, I see more footprints up there. They're definitely hard, hard to follow, though. Alright, I think... I think... After even after cutting and everything, that this is about the right place to stop. Hopefully, they gave you a decent uh, video length and it wasn't too short. I think I had to cut out like six minutes of me fucking dicking around trying to backtrack and get that robotic arm and look it up and stuff. But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying it. There's definitely some more twists coming to this game. Obviously, now the planet is trying to kill me itself. And both my crewmates are dead. So that's great. Fantastic, really. And maybe she was trying to help, I guess. I don't know. Regardless, we're going to see where this game goes. So I hope you're enjoying it. Leave me some notes in the comments if you what you think about it. Fortnite.